Hey guys, and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Today is all about muscle confusion and cardiovascular confusion, really, because today we have a scrambler workout. Now, the scrambler was my favorite ride growing up at a local amusement park, and it sent you forwards and backwards and this way and that, and you never knew which way you were going next or how fast you were going to be going or when the thing was going to stop. So that's kind of like this workout. You will probably uh, want to be getting off this ride, but don't because it's going to be really beneficial for you. So anyway, the scrambler workout is going to look like this. It is going to start with a kickboxing section. It is going to go into two sets of Tabata pairs. It is going to go into a strength section and a burpee section. And all of these sections are going to have different time intervals. So it should be a whole lot of confusing fun. So what you will need is, uh, actually, you don't have to use any equipment. I wrote this to be a bodyweight boot camp workout, and my kiddos are sick today, so I had to miss that, so I thought I would record it for you all. So you can grab some weights. Uh, we've got some uh, curtsy lunges and wide and narrow squats, so it would be perfect to use with weights, but you can do this workout anywhere without any equipment as well. So you get to choose whether you use weights or not. So grab your water, uh, grab your weights if you want to. If you are away from home and have no equipment, this would be awesome to do without it too. So I will meet you right back here for the warm up. All right, my friends, let's get ready with this warm up. It's gonna be a little bit shorter today. Start out with some jacks. Got about a three minute warm up. This is a slightly shorter workout than we're used to having. Just gonna jack it out. Do a little bit here. Hands to the front and sides. Really open that chest. Stretch those arms out. Let's get a little seal jacks going on here. Further open that chest. All right, about five seconds here. Three, two, one. All right, now we're just going to go into some front kicks to loosen up everything for this kickboxing portion of the workout. Really kick and shove that heel out. Lift with your abs your hip flexors, everything tight. Doesn't matter how high you kick, but I would like you to focus on your contraction of your ab muscles and your form. All right, now we're gonna lunge side to side. Get everything loosened up like your glutes. All right, so I'm smelling pumpkin pies on doing this workout because <laughs> I made some pumpkin pie for my little boy's school Thanksgiving party. So if that is not the worst temptation, <laughs> I don't know what it is. All right, we're gonna do some inchworms, right? So go down to the floor, walk our hands out, push up, walk it back. Which brings me to the subject of holiday eating and all the temptations and maybe some of the anxiety you may feel about holiday meals and the readily available sweets that you're probably about to get peppered with. But if you think about your health as just making that next Right decision. <clears throat> Making sure you're hydrated and have a good, healthy, let's shake it out here for the last couple seconds. A good, healthy snack before you go into that meal. Filling up your plate with some lean proteins and lots of veggies and fruits. You will tackle this holiday season just like your workouts. So, we are starting out with a half burpee and two switch kicks in one second, all right? So, Half burpee, up, two switch kicks. Kick, 
kick. Kick, kick. I'm definitely going to miss my ladies who I usually do boot camp with this morning. But maybe they can join along with this video. You got about 10 seconds left. Healthy choices isn't about avoiding desserts, but it's about filling yourself with good, nutritious food so that you have less room for some of the stuff that's less nutritious. So, squat hop chops. Chop. You can put a pillow under you here to really slam something that's not the floor. off your feet. We're going through these just once. Then our Tabata pairs. Slam. Contract those out. Five seconds. You can use your fist. I like to chop. All right. Whew. Next we've got three jabs and a tuck. Grab your water here. Ah. All right. Okay. So one, two, three. 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 Try to make this transition fast. You can always squat jump instead of tuck. Light on those feet. And track those dots. Ten seconds. One. Right. Make sure we're recording here. That would be an awful waste. If I'd have done all that without recording. Woo. Right down with a side kick on the left. All right, so down, kick. Ooh. Not too flexy today with these kicks. Ooh. Halfway done. Try to shove that heel up there. It's always hard for me to get that foot turned the right way. Goals. So this would be a cool one to do if you want to do a workout over the Thanksgiving holiday. All right, now we've got punching switch lunges. Because like I said, you could do this one anywhere. It's relatively short. And requires no equipment. So punch, 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 punch. Punch it. So the holidays do not have to be defeating or stressful. You can what you want, but you can also be strategic about it. I've found I'm more successful when I conquer the holidays, not as just a big math problem that I have to count out how many calories I'm taking in, but to just try to make the next right choice drinking enough water, getting lean proteins and vegetables, and then having some of the sweet stuff in moderation. Then trying to figure out how many calories I have to burn off. That's very frustrating. 
and it gives you a little bit of disordered thought pattern about food, which is not good. There's no good or bad food. Food is food. But there are better choices you can make than others to fuel your body. That's where the real delineation needs to be. And three, two, one. All right, jab cross squat, 90 degree jump. You'll recognize the sequence from an earlier kickboxing workout I did. I tried to scramble up some earlier workouts. So, punch, punch, switch, punch, punch, squat and switch. Easy for me to say. So I'm wearing pants. These awesome compression pants my dad got me. And realized when I put them on the last time that my little boy had put a piece of cheese in his pocket. String cheese. And when I washed and dried his clothes and my pants, I've got two pieces of completely solidified cheese right here and here. That will not come off no matter how hard I try. All right, we've got a push up plus a double knee tuck. All right, I'm gonna do a tricep push up because my shoulder, tricep push up. Tricep push up. You can do a regular one. You can do a push up and walk those feet in. You can do knee taps. You can do knee tucks. Ooh, keep that core tight. Still feeling it in my shoulder. Oh, four seconds. One more. Come on. Oh. Oh. Wow. Needing a towel. Hello again. How are you? Okay. Duck. Let's do switch kicks. All right. So, in the duck, switch kick, switch kick, duck, switch kick, switch kick. Get low. Use your abs. Help protect your back. Use your abs to get those kicks up there. Pretend there's something you gotta go under. Awesome job, guys. This is our last kickboxing move. Ah, and it's not necessarily a kickboxing move, but I put it there, so. I'm using a weight here. Remember to keep your chest forward. You don't want to keep your head up, but you definitely want to keep your chest up. You don't want to strain your neck. So, the back of you is twisting. 10 seconds. You can also stay low here. Go a little faster, especially if you have no weights. And you're done. Yes. All right, 20 second break. And then we'll get into our Tabata pairs. <coughs> Turkey bottle in honor of Thanksgiving. <coughs> oh yeah. Whew. All right. 
in seven seconds, we're going to use spiders or Spider-Man kick through and then star jumps. So you can either do push up here. I'm gonna have trouble with that because my shoulder. So I'm just gonna do spider kick through without the push up. You can just do spiders. Oops, did we start too early? No, that was it. 20 seconds, I forgot to buy <laughs> Star jumps. All right. We're going full out here, guys. 20 seconds. Ten. Get up there. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're back down for those spiders, for Spider-Man kick throughs. All right, spider kick through. Great for your abs. Get that push up in there if you can. And last one. Okay, stars again. You can always do a jumping jack here. No worries. Good times. Job, guys. Oh, legs are burning. Down to the floor again. All right, get down. Spider, kick through. Lose the towel. And drag those out. Star jumps. Halfway done. Push. Go. Three, two, one. Okay. Last two. Breathe. Breathe, breathe. Can start off with just spiders to get your breath. Oh, oh my. Don't ever get distracted by the dust you see or the stuff you see in your carpet. I do. Last one, star, star, push. You can go for height, you can go for speed. Three, two, one. Or you can go for survival. The next, two intervals of Tabata. Our twist mountain climbers, or those obliques. Um, and skaters for inner and outer thighs and glutes. We got 10 seconds. 20 10 intervals. Give it your best. All right. All right. Twisting. Knee to elbow. If this is too much, go slow. If that's too much, bring it to the front for regular mountain climbers. Very good. Now when you skate, you can bring the foot behind you to stabilize, or you can just hover. So, 
So you can go here. Get your extra curtsy squat in, or just keep it on that one leg. It's in air, it's in distance, either way. Awesome. Twist mountain climbers. My kids are taking a nap and I need one. Twist. also be done low impact okay off a little especially when you work out in a room that also has a diaper genie inside that humbles you real fast okay all right skate 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 being a former figure skater myself I'm embarrassed <laughs> My balance is now a lot better. Probably because I'm not on a thin blade over ice. That's what my mom used to say. That I couldn't walk two feet without falling. But on the ice, I hardly would. So. Alright, twist mountain climbers. Whew. Get it popping. if you need it. I just wanted this one to kind of be a rapid fire burn it out workout. Okay, in whew, 10 seconds we are going to actually we're going to the burpee part, excuse me. Half burpee, two squat pulses. I'm going to use or try to use my weights here. All right, half burpee, pick up, two squat pulses. So you're getting a little deadlift action there. This one, we're doing twice. Get that chest up. our hands at the ground. Five seconds. Okay. All right. Push up. Release. Go for height. Hopefully you're not 
I'm gonna scoot up. <laughs> Go for height. Crack your head. <sighs> Oops. Got to release the hands. You know what to do. Tricep push up here. All right, go down. Push up. Lift right arm, left foot. Push up. Opposite. Push up. Feel yourself off the ground. Push up. One. Push up. Lift. Two. Push up. Oh. Oh. I might leave out that third push up. Push up. One. Push up. Two. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's big snay on me. Or push up they. All right. Back to half burpee. Two squat pulses. Grab your weight or not. Doesn't matter. All right. Half burpee. All we have are these exercises and then our strength group. Oh, and some abs. Abs is short though because we're getting a lot of sneaky abs here and all the workout. <sighs> Tighten them. <sighs> Essentially, every workout you do should be an ab workout. If you contract them and do the right form. <sighs> awesome job, guys. All right, competition burpee. Make sure I don't hit my head there. Jump. Jump. I'm a little slow on these because my shoulder still giving me troubles, but you can do fast. In this set, super girl, super guy, superhuman burpees. All right, five seconds. I had to change the memory card on my camera, so thus the delay. All right, push up. One, push up. Two, jump up. You can add a tuck here if you want, if you're super, super. Right arm, left leg. Push up. Left arm, right leg. Push up. And jump up. Push up. Left arm, right leg. Push up. Right arm, left. Woo! Wobble. Whoops. Extra push up. Oh. Heel grab. Why not? All right. Push up. Right arm, left leg. Awesome. Sorry, that last set was wacky. Okay, wide to narrow squat. Catch your breath. You got five seconds here, and then 
10 before our 50 10 strength intervals. Then we got two ab moves and we're done. All right. Alternating. Wide to narrow squat. Step it out. Step it in. Step it out. Step it in. You can hold it like a goblet. You can hold it in front like I am. You choose. Nose is starting to run. It's a good sign. Except for the fact that my kids have colds. So it might not be because I'm working so hard. It might be because something's gunning for me. 10. But for right now, I'm riding high with these squats. So, or low, I guess. Oh, awesome. That one really felt good. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do these, but we're either going to do a push up or a one leg push up. I'm going to try my best. We'll see how my arm does. Okay. Leg up. Push. Again, it's a tricep push up for me. You can do standard push up. You can cross the foot if you want here. Makes it a little easier. We are just distributing our weight a little less evenly to put pressure on different parts. I'm gonna hook it. It's also good for your glutes. Cross. I mentioned we only have one side of these strength exercises. As we do. I'm sorry if those were ugly. All right, curtsy lunge on the left. So a lot of these are body weight strength. I'm just adding weight to. You can kick with your curtsy. You can stay low with your curtsy. Do it fast. You can take the kick this way for a little glute action. If you take it up front, you've got inner thigh. You can switch it to one this way, one this way, whatever you like. You can stay here. 10 seconds. Whatever you do, give it your all. Smile. Think about from whence you've come, from where you've come. Uh -huh. Tricep push-ups. I may do most of these on my knee. I'm starting to feel it in that shoulder. So, arms close to your side. Feel on my toes. Not happening with that shoulder, and that's okay. We don't push through injury. We push through burning. We push through soreness a little bit, but we don't push through pain with injuries. Go on. All right. That's all this mom is going to do on that one. All right. Curtsy on the right, and we are done with strength and on to abs. I've never been so excited to do abs. Okay, so we can stay low here. We can bring it up. We can kick. Kick both ways, I think. I might have just come up with a new combination move. Probably not new at all. I so badly want to be a pioneer and then I go and do somebody else's awesome YouTube workouts and I'm like, oh, well then, that wasn't as original as I thought. Whoa, off balance. I definitely think 
my balance is original. <laughs> All right. Toss that weight aside. We are into our ab section with cheese pants and all. We're going to do two reptiles, two forward knee tucks, two cross knee tucks. You've got 10 seconds. Okay, you can do these elevated. That's a good time. I might do that. Hope y'all can see me. I think you can. All right, so reptile, knee to elbow, like a spider, cross knee, forward knee, elbow, elbow, knee to elbow, front, and cross. Sure your elevation is stable. Do these in whatever order you want. Three seconds. Last two. Oh, awesome. Woohoo. All right. Next, we got some knee hugs. Last exercise, period. Okay? So, back, hug your knees. Back. Hug your knees. Thank you guys for inspiring me to do more abs. Because I think for a while I was just ready to be defeated about my ab separation and thought there's no way I could get stronger until I get it fixed, but I don't know. I'm just wondering more and more about the stuff I read about my condition. Two seconds. All right. So in case you're ever wondering, you inspire someone, you do. And you push me. All right, so we're gonna go into some runner's lunge stretches. We work those whew, hip flexors a lot. So start here. You know, lunge, go down to the hands on either side of that left foot. Straighten out the right leg as much as you can. Push into that hip flexor. All right? Now, we're going to take the right arm up. We're going to check out that thumb. Open that back. Stretch your neck there. And bring it down. Push into those hips again. Awesome. All right, we're gonna come back and do a bit of a hamstring stretch here. Sit back in your heel, pull on the toes of that left foot. Kind of change that stretch, mid-stretch, sorry for awkwardness. All right, roll it back up on that left toe. Now we're gonna set both feet back. Step the right foot in front. Straighten the left leg behind. Push. All right, push into those hip flexors. They help us so much. Take care of them. Left arm up. You're gonna look at that left thumb. Stretch that neck. Okay, and take it down. Push. Now, shift our weight back here. Try into a kind of a triangle pose first. Then we're going to set our weight back in that left leg. Pull those toes up on the right foot. Whew. Awesome. All right, we're going to slowly roll forward and roll back up. Now, we're going to go down into a pigeon pose. So plank first, left foot front, right foot in the back. Okay, we're going to sit up at first to get situated, okay? We are going to grab the toes of our right foot, pull on that quad. If this is too much, just do a standing, like flamingo stretch where you stand and grab the toes 
that foot, relax your glute and your quads if you can. All right, now we're gonna let the weight of our head take us to the ground. You can always lace this right arm through, get a deeper stretch with that right glute. And back up. Let's switch sides. Right leg in the front, left leg straight and behind. Get situated, shake it out. All these large muscles take care of us. We gotta take care of them. This leg is harder for me. I'm gonna pull on those toes. I'm gonna try to relax. <laughs> Ooh, if I can. Don't push beyond what you can. And release. All right. Bring the chest down. Let the weight of your head stretch you forward. I'm gonna lace these fingers through this time. And get a deeper stretch on the right. You should feel this all along your glute. It's also a pretty good hip opener for the other side. All right, we're gonna push back up. We are going to push into a down dog pose here. Our arms are beside our ears, but our shoulders are down. Push those hips back. All right, walk the hands back here. Heel toe, heel toe those feet in. Reach for the toe if you can. If not, go to the hamstrings here, the ankles. Knees, whatever you can. You guys did an awesome job today. All right. Now we're just gonna do some inhales and exhale. So inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, get those legs wide. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Activity completed. And robot lady. We are right on time. She won't have to get her electronic feathers ruffled over us today because we are finished. I hope you all enjoyed this workout. It was madness, different intervals, the option to use body weight only or weights. Um, oh my goodness, just different types of exercises to challenge your body, to confuse your muscles and get your heart rate on a roller coaster. So we've been through it all today and I'm so thankful so thankful that we are doing it together. So I hope this will help you through the holidays if you wanna use it then to have a no equipment workout to pull out of your pocket there and have. Um, I hope that the little bit that we've talked about, just doing the next right thing will help you through some of your holiday food anxieties if you have them. I've always found that if I told myself I couldn't eat something or if I was too worried about the number portion um, the calories portion of different special meals that I always just blew it and gave up and went overboard. So um, know that you can have what you want, um, but do that in a strategic way to help you not derail the results that you've already um, done so well in um, succeeding with. So remember, lean protein, get that on your plate, get a good amount of it. Fill the rest of it, which is going to be the majority of your plate, probably two-thirds of your plate need to be vegetables, fruits, things that hydrate you. Um, have a healthy snack before you go for the big meal so you're not too hungry. Drink lots of water to keep your body hydrated and, um, you know, help you process what you're taking in. And then when it comes to desserts and foods that really don't satiate you but do satisfy your cravings, um, maybe you won't have as much room to go overboard on those. So, you know, have them, but realize that, um, you know, you want to fill your body with the most nutritious food first and then have the sweets and good stuff afterwards. So have a very happy and blessed Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. Um, whether you celebrate it or not, I'm thankful for you and I'm thankful that you show up here with me every week or even more often to challenge your body and to appreciate your body for what it can do. And I just hope for you that you will use this awesome gift you've been given to change the world. Be kind to somebody this holiday season and always. So I will see you next time. Pound the water.
Do some more stretching if you need to. Get a good, healthy snack on your plate. Like this video if you liked it. And subscribe to our channel for more videos and tips for healthy living and funny stories about things that happened to me during my day. So anyway, have an awesome day, guys. And remember that whether you are celebrating Thanksgiving, whether you're doing a crazy scrambler workout, whatever you're doing, it is your health today and every day. So hit it hard. Ready? Boom. Have an awesome day, guys. Happy Thanksgiving.